video, I'm just going to show you my collection of scooters. Um, this one here is a four-wheel Pride Go-Go Elite Traveler, I think. I don't know what it is. I ain't so sure what this is. Um, this one's got four wheels. And uh, the battery pack's not in it. Battery pack goes right there. This one is all good to go. No problems with it at all, except for batteries. So uh, I'll show you some other ones and talk about some problems. Here is uh, a three-wheeler. This one is a Rascal, <laughs> made by Pride Mobility. It's a, uh, it doesn't have a battery pack in it like the other ones do. This is an older model. They have to take to, to, to get to the batteries. You have to t take that seat off and then take this red shroud off and then you can get to your battery pack, which are two 12 volt batteries in there wired into 24 volts. And uh, it, come apart, it comes apart where the rear end comes off, the seat comes off, it, it comes into different pieces. So you can fold it up and fold that up, fold that down. That way you can fit in your trunk. Now this was my very first one. Uh, it was my mother's, actually it is my mother's, but I used it because she didn't use it. She she tipped over on it. She can't ride it because she doesn't know how to stay in the center, I guess. And she, Anyway, she flipped over on the side, fell out into the road, and uh, she don't use it no more. So I started using it, which I'm way too heavy for it. So the rear end in it went out. Parts in the rear end went out, and the rear end started grinding. You could hear the spider gears in there grinding, and I did a fix on it with some metal washers to, to uh, shim the uh, spider gears back together. And it didn't last very long. And we'll talk about that in another video, but I did find a fix for it, but not soon enough because I had put some washers in there and the washers ground out a little bit of the housing of the rear end, the, the aluminum. Uh, well, I'll get into that later, but I did find a fix for that, and we will get into that. And that's going to be my next video, probably. We'll see. I'll show you some more. This one, this one here still works. It's just a last resort because the other three that I have are much newer models. And the rear ends are not uh, as damaged like this one here has gotten worn out a lot worse than uh it should have so i'm just probably gonna sell it as is for maybe 300 dollars or something i don't know we'll see i mean it still works it's just fine but not for a 300 pound person whoever buys this i'm gonna make sure that they are under 150 pounds because of the problems that it has in the rear end it would be good to go for anybody under 150 pounds but anybody over that, it may cause them problems again down the road. Next, I have this one right here. This is a three-wheel model. And uh, I'm not so, so sure really what model it is. I know it's a Pride Go-Go Mobility Traveler Elite. I don't know what it is. I'll, I know that they're all the same with very, very little difference, except for some are three wheels, some are four wheels, and some of them have different weight ratings but the battery packs are all the same so far what I found out the, the rear ends are all the same the uh, I don't know the keys all the same it just this one here is a very good machine the rear end went out in it because of, once again I'm over the weight limit I'm 300 pounds so as soon as it started grinding I opened the rear end and I fixed it and I fixed it about three months ago and it has not given me any problem so far and i'm going to keep going until i have to fix it again just so i can see how long my fix lasts now people are wondering about how i fix this because it's a very very common problem in these okay right now i have four 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 of these four of these okay two red ones that are three wheels and two blue ones that are four wheels. This one works currently and it's my daily driver. Let's get on to the next one. 
Okay, my next one's out here on the table. All right, there's the body to it over there. That's the main body, the seat. Got the seat right there. Here's its battery pack, which is no good. But this is the rear end part that comes off. And uh, I got this today. Um, this was my father's. And I inherited this. And uh, I turned it over. I'll see if I can show you this. Hang on. I turned it over. I could feel it when I when I got it. I could feel it. I put a fresh battery in it, and I could feel it. But it, I can I can hear it grinding in here already. Hear that? That's not good. This one's going to need to be opened up and repaired. And I'm going to do the same repair on it that I did with the other one in there. And I'll show you what I did in that video to make these things work again. Because you can't buy the parts. I'm not so sure what parts it takes. Um, I got some parts somewhere that I saved that come out of their little pieces. Of, they're like a wave washer or a spring washer or whatever that shims that spider gear it's just it's i'll show you in a separate video the breakdown and my fix on these things this is what i use instead of metal springs or metal washers you can go to walmart and pick you up a three pack they come in a three pack these cutting boards they're very thin but they are they are strong this this plastic is very strong now you can see i've already cut a couple out of this doing some uh prototypes but I got the proper drill bits that I need. And uh, I'll show you the process that I use to create the new spacer or wave washer that goes in the rear end of these things that I'm having success with on the that last red one that you just saw. So I got four machines now, all from Pride Go Go. And all of these machines have had the problem with the rear end. And they probably will say, well, it's because you're too heavy with, but you know what? It's not that because everybody has the same problem. This one, I have never rode. It's got that problem. My father was not 300 pounds. Anyway, stay tuned folks. There will be some videos about the rear end on these pride mobility scooters and how I have been able to fix them.